<clears throat> okay <clears throat> let me educate uh, today about how you how you can prepare for the sap mm associate consultant level interview okay uh, nowadays like many are already sap uh, mm module you are learning and you are acquiring all the knowledge and how you can compete in the market uh, with the additional skill not only mm module so how you should acquire a module called a warehouse management which is required in ecc but not it is it is not required in, in s4 hana because completely ewm in, uh, come into picture right now now everywhere ewm is implemented okay just i would like to add one thing as a sap mm consultant uh, you just add a skill of wm module also along with that so because some company i have seen uh, where they are calling sap mm wm consultant requirement so if you have both the module experience then definitely not experience at least knowledge or skill with domain um, exposure of procurement warehouse inventory logistics and all right if you know end to end process flow then get into consulting of mm module and wm then it will help you to uh, manage the requirement of any organization where they are looking for associate consultant role okay so i'll give a one process flow how you should prepare yourself to handle the uh, interview questions uh, asked by a senior consultant or maybe project level manager level interview so normally first will be like functional level interview will be happening like a screening okay whenever a, you get a call from hr uh, uh, normally they'll ask whether you have a one end to end implementation experience you have right this is a quite common question uh, experience uh, like they'll ask whether you have one end to end implementation experience because uh, every project they are looking someone who has experience of implementation so that will help them to handle the ongoing project or else again they should give you a uh, complete knowledge about uh, how this different phases are working and how you approach client and gather all the information then how do you manage to handle uh, preparing a business uh, blueprint then how you manage to handle the realization phase where you do the configuration then after that you, you do the functional unit testing then after that you just move the changes to a quality system where you do the integration testing then sid system integration testing a lot of things will happen in a process okay so first you should make sure that when you get any call are like you are already prepared a lot of things you have gone through a certified center or you got gone through a local institute wherever it you you have learned right all this skills or even you have gone through tax skills and you got uh, e learning experience from a particular organization so uh, you have acquired lot of information but you don't know how to how to present it how to elaborate uh, the things you have gone through it right that's very difficult in a in a single call uh, you get call from hr and suddenly they ask lot of questions to you and then you are not able to handle the situation and you say something and hr will take something and definitely they'll reject they won't even come back with the any uh, response so first whenever you're getting call from hr don't get panic and don't give information uh, just uh, randomly okay uh, if, if you're really uh, not ready to give any information don't give at all say like uh, shall i shall i call you back another 10 minutes and make sure that go to a place where you can uh, uh, just call back and give a proper information if that number is not reachable definitely they'll say this number is not reachable uh, shall i call you uh, at this time so uh, uh, just be available and attend this attend the call effectively so in the first call when you get hr uh, asking questions right just you see uh, yes i have involved in implementation experience uh, you can schedule a call with the interviewer even you have not gone through a consulting firm you have gone through the process where you have uh, like you have got all the experience from the current organization where sap is implemented but it was not it was done by other uh, service based company then you have involved in the process then definitely you know the process how it is managed so you can say yes okay you are not lying you are just adding the info just to get shortlisted into the interview and later you can convince the ma uh, a senior person in the in the interview like yes i have a 3 plus of experience in a particular industry domain experience where i have managed to handle a multiple business scenario plus even i supported a team of like a small team where i am managing to handle a particular issues which getting in a regular basis and how you got uh, implementation experience 
where you started interacting with the IT team from the initial stage. And you have gone through all the phases and even even you have, you have given all the inputs and even you worked with a requirement of a configuration all the way, but you have not got system access to do the configuration, which is taken by a consultant and you have managed to handle the testing of that particular process. Because normally if you're in a product based company where you are involved, involvement will be in the UAT phase only majorly, not in the configuration of development activity, all this will not be accessed right so definitely you will be getting into the quality system where you get the experience of of testing of each and every scenario right so from that you can at least convince and you can make you can effectively uh, you you just share your experience to the in interviewer definitely there will be high chance they may at least shortlist or they may keep in their database and they may call back when they were they need a position which they are looking for uh, here might be they are looking someone really looking uh, with the experience of three plus years. You are not going to fit for that, right? Definitely, if they are looking someone who has consulted many clients and with, with the three years of experience, and you are not going to fit to that position, right? Even if they take you to that position, the pressure you are not able to take up that much pressure of that project, right? Delivery will not happen on time. Definitely, in that case they may keep your profile for a other role which can be a. Uh, junior role or maybe analyst role or maybe associate where you are working in a, as a shadow resource or you can work with the uh, as a consultant or a senior consultant uh, to just do the configuration and you are not involving with the uh, uh, requirement gathering and you are not going to give a solution to the client right so such role will be there in the organization hope hope, hope you are all following this okay uh yeah next thing is about okay if they don't take uh, in this role, you're going to lose anything. No, right. You're at least you'll get some experience. You will be talking to someone and you will get some more questions from them. And then you would start working on that particular uh, questions, come back and fill the gap and keep adding more and more skills. And and even I have seen a uh, few are just gone through SAP ECC 6.0 consulting knowledge uh, and they have invested a lot of money outside for learning. And suddenly uh, 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 they are not ready to take a, ne a next step to learn an additional skill. Then that is wrong. Okay. Always try to update your skill on SAP S4 HANA, which is there in the market. And even you can see there are different versions are released 2021, 2022, 2023, like that, right? So uh, whenever just you collect some information, which role the organization, organization implementing which versions, right? So at least you collect such information, research, go to blogs identify, go to LinkedIn, identify which companies are implementing some four star coming, this this uh, company got implemented, just try to apply such company where they need a uh, support consultant where to handle existing system, right? All that requirement will come. You have to just, you have to research as much as possible. And without updating your skill on SAP S4 HANA and you just stuck with only MMECC, I'm very good with this, but I'm not, not ready to take up this kind of experience, then definitely it's difficult to crack the interview. Because someone who knows uh, S4 HANA with this particular version with all the skill, then definitely they will hire such people instead of hiring someone who has not even gone through the uh, basic skill of S4 HANA. Okay, because again, they cannot put in put you into the training and all for a couple of weeks, then it is difficult uh, for the project manager to handle the ongoing project. Okay, and if you have not gone through any implementation project, at least you reach out to a consultant who has managed to handle recently a project implementation of a recent version, right? Or whatever it is on premise or a cloud. Uh, you can ask their experience, how it is managed. How did you handle uh, this kind of a project? If they have a time to explain you for 30 minutes, then you connect with them, uh, take their guidance. And if they are ready to give a knowledge free of course, then respect their time and just learn as much as possible. Okay, if you're really looking at dedicated time or uh, set up hours to be uh, managed by a, a group of people who are going to guide you or maybe the e-learning or maybe the local organization or maybe the expert who, who is doing a full-time uh, guidance to you, uh, you, can, you can reach out such people and uh, take all the knowledge by paid services because you are completely dedicated uh, dedicatedly working with that uh, with that person where where you paid and uh, that definitely you, you will be very serious to learn such activity uh, in a live session okay uh, uh, like uh, 
like avoid going through the some record session like which is outdated one uh, which you just purchase then that is not going to help you to learn on the latest skill then it may you may get some knowledge from that but try to avoid such uh, scenario where uh, you purchase and you are not even uh, going through the recording so it's just a, you are buying it but you are not using that uh, uh, sources right then it's just completely uh, you you, are, you you will be wasting your time and money together and if recording is there just you think like i'll see tomorrow after some time all that will get delayed okay so uh, focus more on how to talk on uh, like with hr in the call because hr only agree for the next interview level then only it, it, ha it happens and hr will not having a complete uh, information about all the technical part of the process if you explain all the technical uh, they will not able to understand because they have a job description which they will ask whether you have this 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 if it is meeting uh, even uh, they will shortly send uh, a line for the interview or else they even uh, uh, time uh, waste of time right if someone is like even not even reaching their expectation 60 70 percent and uh, uh, conducting interview will definitely waste uh, a time of a, a consultant or senior consultant or project manager who is uh, just spending their time to understand who is good who is not uh, good to the fit to the requirement right so give minimal information and you convince hr in a best way that i am really good i have this, this experience definitely it will help your organization to work on this this requirement just push my profile into this yeah and even you have to give a proper time when you are available don't like give a random time like i'm available on only sunday saturday no just ask when you are going to schedule an interview uh, is it today so i'll make sure that i can set my 30 minutes of time so uh, uh, with, uh, between my work hour and don't please cancel my interview just 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 give a uh, kind of a uh, like words where you have to say about your importance of current job right you are really working good and your uh, your work uh, the company is paying you so you have to respect your current organization also and in that time you should ask hr if you are really looking my availability today this is working day and weekday uh, if it is very it's mandatory to attend then i'll i'll attend it no problem but uh, please understand this uh, if i get into get interview on saturday definitely it's week off for me so where i can comfortably attend the interview with the video mode and i can sit at my uh, home or the place where i can do uh, attend interview very effective way okay so communicate with hr don't just cut your call just by talking hello yeah i am having this experience yeah go ahead uh, schedule interview and they'll disconnect and they'll send an email and after that you will not even reply respond there's no respond uh, communication happens then they will look someone else then you lose an opportunity lose lose definitely good opportunity which came to your doorstep and you just rejected it right getting one interview also very important nowadays that also in consulting side because recruiting recruitment is very less nowadays if i see uh, or research a lot of things or like here and there uh, only they manage with the existing resource and restructure the team and they work with the available resource only uh, recruitment is little less compared to before okay when there is a mass recruitment uh, then definitely uh, even you have a little experience of a consulting uh, module of mm wm and in integration with the pp qm fi sd uh, try to understand the integration part of the process also don't just stick on to only i know mm module with this, this process and even if they ask simple question about uh, a metal master metal type or field selection number range external internal number range and how do you manage different views to be selected in a particular material type uh, and why you are entering a basic unit of measurement ordering unit of uh, field there are multiple fields are entered in the metal master level right if anyone asks a simple question on the basic sap module mm module or any module if you are not able to answer such questions then definitely they will not even ask advanced level of uh, scenarios right or business scenario right and keep in mind always like if you're into a business uh, side or a product based company wherever you're working as sap end user and you're trying for sap consulting role associate consulting role don't suppress your experience okay don't suppress your experience what you are going through okay highlight it in your resume and then you highlight about your sap consulting uh, effort which you're putting last six months or one year experience or exposure you are getting into the model wise your practice you're doing all the way you have got a got lot of exposure right put that also combinedly if you go and try for the interview definitely 
the technical interview or maybe the functional level interview will be really successful okay and just talk from your heart don't just mug up and come and just say whatever you have in mind no okay uh, let it be a discussion session because why discussion session tomorrow if they recruit you for that particular team right you will be part of that team and they should know how uh, whether you are capable to handle their requirement sometime what happens there will be a requirement for different team and someone uh, like the interview who is taking uh, uh, like a uh, interview session will be different it, it depends on the uh, requirement and uh, finally you will be joining different team but but they will try to uh, ask maximum questions which fits for their uh, the project right uh, whichever project internally they are leading or maybe uh, the general question will be asked in the first round of interview section interview and later it will be shortlisted and next level will be project manager level or maybe a director level all will be uh, asked in a step by step process okay so i think this is enough uh, to uh, like uh, in this session which i am sharing here with you all so uh, in next session i will give a more detailed view about uh, what all the area you should cover as a consultant what all the uh, system access you should know like uh, practice configuration and uh, if it is about master data it's about table level knowledge if it's about enhancements or if you want to know about more on the uh, rise w and if you want to know about idoc interfaces a uh, lot of activity you should learn uh, we should acquire maximum knowledge which will help you uh, to challenge the organization that i have very good knowledge on this this but i never got an opportunity to work in such role because definitely my role is in this company is this this is i have gone through this kind of work culture and uh, definitely if i want to change my role in next organization definitely i should adopt some new things adopt new technology i have done it uh, give me a chance to prove that i can work on this uh, particular uh, role don't don't try to say something which you are not adopted at and you are trying to just convince the interviewer definitely they will understand that you are just just trying to uh, put a butter or something okay sugar coat the things and all say okay definitely they'll understand that you have not gone through such kind of effort or a practice in the system uh, definitely uh, after 10 15 minutes they'll understand that you are not fit for that particular role so uh, let it be more genuine about what what you have and then you express it then definitely it will help you uh, to know about your strength and even if someone uh, ask okay put some questions which you have in mind don't put some silly question which is irrele irrelevant at least ask some uh, valid question which you which may help you to handle in next interview right or maybe the uh, interviewer is really good he or she may give us uh, some additional tips which uh, at the end of the session def def definitely they will uh, support you to give some input and at the end of the session you will understand like whether you have selected or not by uh, by putting valid question okay and uh, uh, in every interview uh, even if uh, the interviewer is not coming in a video mode you be in a video mode try to present yourself in a best way okay and uh, and also try to use your body posture and action which is required in the interview right where you can talk in a best way and even some motives i'll give in next interview like why they will ask some questions about uh, uh, about the solution side because they'll check how you handle such question in front of client in future if you if you just judge if you just guess and say something today and same thing you can do in front of client also tomorrow which way uh, create a problem for the organization okay there are many tips and tricks i will share you in future about entry preparation so hope this session is useful all for for you all and try to adopt as much as possible thank you